It was a clear spring morning when the old monk awoke to find his most prized possession missing, a glittering ruby that had been passed down through generations of monks. Distraught, he searched every corner of the small mountain temple, but the ruby was nowhere to be found. The head monk called the students together. The sacred ruby has been stolen, he announced gravely. A shocked murmur passed through the group of young monks. We must find it and restore it to its rightful place. The students dispersed and searched the grounds, the surrounding forest and the villages below. But as the day wore on, it became clear the ruby was gone. Disheartened, the students returned empty-handed. I have failed you, said Tan, the monk's most devoted pupil. How can I call myself a student of Zen when I could not even protect our most prized possession? The old monk smiled. The ruby was never the most prized possession, Tan, he said gently. It was merely an object, a temporary gathering of earthly elements. Our true treasures are the wisdom, compassion, and mindfulness we cultivate within. Tan looked puzzled. The old monk continued, search within, not without. Tan closed his eyes. At first his mind was flooded with thoughts. Where could the ruby be? Who could have taken it? How would they find it? Gradually the thoughts settled, like sediment sinking to the bottom of a pond. As his mind stilled, Tan began to understand what his master meant. The ruby, beautiful as it was, held no real meaning in and of itself. It was the way the monks cherished it, the significance they instilled in it, that gave it value. In the same way, Tan realized his devotion to the monastery, his commitment to the daily rituals, his years of practice. These had meaning because of the spirit with which he undertook them. Without that spirit of sincere seeking, they were empty actions. There were those too who saw the ruby only as an object to possess. Just as there were those who came to the monastery with selfish motives, not humility and the wish to learn. As the stillness deepened, Tan saw that the real treasure was inside him all along. The humility, the seeking, the service to others. This was the legacy passed down through generations. This spirit is what he must guard and nurture. The old monk watched Tan with a smile. He could see the anger and blame wash away from the young monk's face. In their place appeared calm abiding and a hint of wisdom. In silence they sat together until dusk fell. Then the old monk rose and laid a hand on Tan's shoulder. You have searched well today, he said. Tan bowed, his heart filled with gratitude for the lesson. The stolen ruby was never found, but in the years that followed, the spirit of seeking within became the young monk's most prized treasure. This is Narrative Dreamscape. Thanks for watching.